today today let's solve questions related to industrial electronics in ap is it 2021 question paper so let's get back to the first question the main advantage of igbt over scr in power electronics is remember the main advantage of igbt over our power mosfet or bjt is it has a very low on state voltage drop due to the conductivity modulation and has superior on state current density and it is highly reliable and this is one factor which you have to consider next a thyristor equivalent of a thyrotron tube is a thyristor equivalent of a thyrotron tube is an scr controlled silicon controlled rectifier so here this is your answer next the most suitable device for high frequency inversion in smps is smps is switch mode power supply which is an electronic power supply that converts power using switching devices that are turned on and off at higher frequencies and storage components such as inductors capacitors to supply power when the switching device is a non conductive set here mosfet is the most suitable device at high frequency switch as it causes low switching loss okay so let's let's go to the next question in ups the solid state switch normally transfer supplies within remember transfer time or trans of a ups is the time taken to switch from main supply to backup battery power and in commercial ups it is around 1 to 3 milliseconds so the closest is your 4 milliseconds which is your answer so the next the pv cell converts the radiant energy of the sun into remember photovoltaic cell converts as it is generally called a solar cell which is a non mechanical device that converts sunlight directly into electricity and some pv cells can convert artificial light also into electricity next what is a thermo couple a thermo couple is a sensor which measures temperature it consists of two different types of metals which are joined together at one end when the junction of the two metals is heated or cooled a voltage is created that can be correlated back to the temperature so thermocouples are commonly used in wide range of applications here you are sir you will be using two dissimilar metals next lvdt is linear variable differential transformer which is widely used inductive transducer which converts linear motion into electrical signal and the output across the secondary of the transformer is differential that that is what is called linear variable differential transformer next a strain gauge is a passive transducer and is employed for converting a strain gauge basically is is used to measure force or strain and the resistance of a strain gauge changes when force is applied and this change will give a different electrical output so strain gauges is used in this method method to measure pressure force weight and tension next thermistors have which type of temperature coefficient remember thermistors have negative temperature coefficient if you see the graph as temperature increases the resistance will be decreasing try to remember this graph so even small change in temperature can cause significant changes in their electrical resistance with this the questions related to this particular industrial electronics are completed